Funny story, we'll get to that uh, in just a moment, but a new report shows that Hispanic and Latino people continue to be underrepresented in top movies. The Annenberg Inclusion Initiative examined representation in 1,600 top grossing films from 2007 to 2022, and in the 16 years, only 75 actors in lead roles were Hispanic or Latino, and only five were aged 45 or older. There was not one year where every company released at least one movie with a Latino or Hispanic lead. Warner Brothers had the worst track record of the studios. Heroes, it's an old-fashioned notion. But the world can still use them. Ready. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Yeah, you just saw a short clip from the final trailer for The Marvels. In the preview, Robert Downey Jr.'s Iron Man and Chris Evans' Captain America make an appearance in flashbacks, plus a voiceover by Samuel L. Jackson's Nick Fury. Towards the end of the trailer, Tessa Thompson's Valkyrie makes an appearance. The Marvels opens in theaters on Friday. And we have another fun theme night tonight on Dancing with the Stars. They'll be performing the songs behind some of the most iconic music videos. We spoke to some of the stars who are happy to have made it past the halfway mark of the season. I'm grateful to be here at the time of my life. And it is, uh, it's an honor to, to have so many people here that I think have grown up with me and I've grown up with them. And it kind of connects to different generations of people that have enjoyed our show. And um, it's very rewarding. What is propelling you forward? Mm. Just that sense of accomplishment that comes from working really hard and seeing that pay off, coming out here and feeling confident, feeling like I, I can do it, I got it. Paula Abdul is tonight's guest judge. It all starts tonight at 8 right here on ABC7. And if you missed any of the ballroom action, you can get caught up on Hulu. All right, you know you're a superstar when you can call up Apple's CEO and not only ask for changes, but get them. Two-time Oscar winner Barbara Streisand didn't like how Siri pronounced her name. So she picked up the phone and called Tim Cook. Streisand said Siri was adding a Z in the middle of her name. After the call, Cook had Siri change the pronunciation. Wow. Wow. That's a big one to, yeah. to mess up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, That's power. So I guess that Siri was saying Barbara Streisand. Zand. And she's like, excuse me, that's not my name. Correct <laughs> right, that. Wow, love that. that. Is power. It's Siri <laughs> replaced. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Brianna. We have a little fog, a little drizzle. It's a nice James Bell Lopez. Oh, I know it is.